Hi guys, in the previous lecture, we created a video mat. We called it transition mat. Now we are in Premiere Pro. If you don't know Premiere Pro, I have a very good course. You can go and learn it. It's the best video editing program. And this is where you are going to edit your two hours movie or your 10 minutes for YouTube or even two minutes. And you want to add these transitions that you have created in After Effects. There are several ways to do that, but I'm going to show you the easiest way. Remember, we already rendered and created a video, so we are not going to use dynamic linking. So I already imported the footage over here. I want to import the transition. It's very easy. From the project panel, that is the project transition. I call the project here transitions. You right click and you say import. And here is the AVI file transition mat. And then we click open. Now let's create a sequence with the two clips that we used in After Effects. You can choose any other clip. I will click and drag to create the sequence. Here we are. What we want to do is to start with the clip 4 and then transit to the clip 5. Like we have done in After Effects, we want this layer to be on top. And let's go to 4 seconds. Here you are, because I know there are five seconds. So I go to four seconds, then select the bottom one and snap it to the timeline indicator or the playhead. I will take now the transition itself and just drop it on top, exactly like After Effects. But the lower layer is not connected to the transition yet. They just appear, you know, as a motion graphics we like. We need to connect through Luma Inverted. For this, there is a special effects. Let's go to the FX panel. If you click on it here, you can see it. And then you want to look for mat. Here you are, you can type mat and you have the track mat key. This is the one that we are going to use. You click on it and you drop it on the clip four. Here you are. Then you go to the FX control panel over here and you can see track mat key. The mat itself is the video 3. Notice here we don't use the names, we use V1, V2, V3. So this is video 3, this is the mat itself. And then compositing using mat alpha or alpha mat in After Effects or mat luma or luma mat in After Effects, here you are, and you want to invert it. So actually, if you want to translate it into After Effects, it will be invert luma mat. Here you are, luma mat. Now, if you run, I press space bar, here you are, pretty beautiful. You got your transition in Premiere Pro. If you're using another program, you will find similar mats. You have taken a transition that has been created in After Effects, render it as a video, and then play it here. Now, why did I make it a video and render it? Now, first of all, dynamic linking is pretty good. But then I will still using After Effects to dynamic link. And sometimes you need to open After Effects for the dynamic link to be quite good. Using a rendered video, it's much better and much easier. And if you not, it will play very nicely in Premiere Pro. So in this couple of lectures, you learned a lot, guys. You created a transition in After Effects. You created a video transition. You brought it into your video editing program. And here you are. You are already doing professional transitions within the After Effects and the video editing program, in this case, Premiere Pro.